All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here on a review table. I got a lot of cool stuff that's coming out. We're going to do a lot of review table stuff. We also have a lot of politics coming your way. And I'm hoping to get out to the range to test out that new uh, X2 <laughs> uh, development group uh, barrel. So anyway, I thought it'd be kind of fun to do a range of options. I mean, we've got very expensive barrels. We've got cheap barrels. We've got very expensive uh, scope mounts. This is not really that expensive in comparison that I have spent, oh, I don't know, four or $500 on particular scope mounts on a sniper rifle. But say, for instance, you're new to the industry, you really want to get into it, but you're not willing to put out $240 for a scope mount. This is a American Defense Recon, and that's what this guy costs. This is $240 damn dollars. Are you going to spend that much money on your first rifle trying to get out there and get to the range just to shoot stuff? Probably not. So let's do something here real quickly. This is going to be kind of fun. I'm going to put that really neat right there. Okay, cool. Cheap versus the cheapest. Okay, so I thought it would be really cool to do that. Um, I bought these on Amazon just for the shits and giggles, right? I don't know. Maybe have a scope laying around. Just want to mount it up. I'm going to be honest with you. The good old Chinese people over there are manufacturing some pretty decent products when it comes to scope mounts. In comparison to what we have in, in Made in America, like the American Defense, um, I rather support Americans. But if you're in that position where you're ready to want to get that rifle out there, you can always take this and put it on your secondary rifle, or your third rifle, your fourth rifle. Do like I did. Just next thing you know, you're, you're you don't you don't have enough safe room anymore anymore. So anyway, let's do a comparison here: cheap versus the cheap, right? This, ladies and gentlemen, this is a scope mount. This is 30 millimeter. And it's Coyote FDE, zero MOA, and that means it's not angled up like you would see on a long-distance rifle. Made in China, and guess what? This is new. <laughs> so here we go. That's that, uh, the X-AQ. This is a Hiram, Hiram scope mount. Basically, they're almost the same thing. This is the Hiram dual ring offset 25-35 millimeter. Uh, and what they're talking about, for guys that don't know, 30, 30 millimeter is the diameter of the tube where it meets the scope ring. So anyway, cheap versus cheap. Ready? Here we go. Um, doo -doo -doo. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. Uh, all right. That's like sexy stuff right there, let me tell you. Okay, so let's take this thing out. I don't know what they're talking about, 25, 30 millimeter. Uh, I do a 30 millimeter, not a 20 millimeter. Okay, so right here, I'm just looking at this as CNC. Probably extruded, extruded aluminum. Probably, not, I don't know what kind of aluminum. Or is there any kind of instruction? Nope. 775 aluminum. I doubt it. Uh, if you want to take a look, the metal, the finish, just doesn't feel exactly right. Okay, so they got some torque screws in here. You got three locking lugs. Oh, okay, so we're cross section. And you got three sets of uh, tightening screws right here. Okay. And. Let's see. One of the things I really like to see companies do is tether these things so that, not tether, but stake the, the screws right here so that they won't back out all the way. You don't want to be out in the field, I don't know, with your M9 and launch a damn drive rod out into the middle of the woods and you can't find anything. All right, so this is a good idea right here, these locking lugs. This prevents this thing. It locks into the top Picatinny rail, and what it does is it enables this thing not to go back and forth. And I thought I had an upper receiver somewhere around here, but I do not. Okay. There you go. Nice torque screws right there. One of the things I like to see is, uh, especially in the Warren Tactical, if you can see some of the other fake ones that are out there, they have a metal, they're sleeved with steel, okay, into the aluminum. They're anchored in there, and I doubt that's the way this is. Do, 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 do. The one thing you, is really nice about these scope rings, the way they are, is you don't have to lap them. And if you want to learn about that, that's a lot of fun. There's a lapping tool. If you're shooting rifles with a bolt and you've got two sections of uh, scope rings that are not lined up with one another, that's what you do is you will lap them in. Okay. So let's just take this apart. I just want this to be a short video because I don't really want to bore you guys. Okay, that's pretty nice. Hey, overall, not a bad little deal. And like I said, if you're in a hurry to put something out there, that's good. Hey, uh, tomorrow I'm going to be releasing a video, uh, Firefield, another economic brand uh, designed in the USA, manufactured over there in the great communist state of China. Let's put that right there so we don't forget about it. All right, so this is...
the Vector Products, uh, Vector Optics, Vector Optics, the X dash A C C U. So you're coming up, I like the color. Uh, Coyote Desert is what they call that. It's sealed up pretty good in the plastic. Ooh. Okay, so here's the difference. These are one half inch screw nuts. Pretty standard in the industry. Let's see the first thing. I oh, got one locking lug here. Because where these guys have two locking lugs there. All right, so we go ahead and come on, baby. Lock up. Oh, no. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so that bolt right there is fixed. I wonder if you can break that out of there. Uh, imagine if you hit it hard enough, you could. Okay, so everything's here. You do have a washer and a lock a lock nut right there, which is kind of cool. Uh, fantastic. And I'll show you something really quick on one of the things that I carry with me at all times. I wonder. Well, I wonder. Yep, same thing. That, I like that design right there. i got to be honest with you. I'm kind of dig. Well, I like both the designs, but I like the fit and finish on the this guy better. Twenty seven ninety nine versus twenty nine ninety nine. Okay, um, I use the half inch. I, I do have the half inch uh, nut driver with me twenty four seven in my kit. Let's see. This is kind of fun. I like this. We're gonna do cheap stuff from here on out. Yeah, I got that flamethrower working. Watch this real quick. Stand by. Reminds me of growing up when we were kids. Oops. All I know is you can do this in a can of uh, ether. <laughs> That's fun. I don't care who you are. You ready to do it? <laughs> and I can't wait to get that thing. Uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to do a video on that last. I'm shooting it in my backyard because a lot of places don't allow you to go out and, sh sh I don't know, shoot your flamethrower. The neighbors haven't. I was out in my neighbor's yard and uh, taking apart stuff. Okay, so in any case, um, you got the screw holes. They're all the way through like that. The f I like uh, the finish on this one. It's nice, and you have that little design, $27.99. What did I say? Versus twenty nine ninety nine. Okay, so let me do this. You, you can see the milling parts in here. This is actually, I would say probably, huh? A little cheap. I feel like this is cheaper, but this this one is cheaper. So the winner in my book is this guy right here. Two locking lugs. You got this guy. I think it'll probably work just fine. Uh, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. All right, with that being said, guys, that's it. Cheap stuff from China, good thing. And uh, we always end them like this. <laughs> I know, I know, it's kind of hypocritical. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform, 24-7 for our freedom. Because you guys are just starting out in this lovely thing that we call firearms, which I, I love so much in my heart. You always get up there, go do what you got to do, go have fun and shoot, okay? Save up some money if you can. Get the good stuff. Two hundred forty dollars versus twenty seven ninety nine. Hmm. That's it. It's KB thirty two. If you like the video, please give it a thumb up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. That's it. You guys have a great day. And the infamous words of the great Cobra Burnout. Boom. Y'all be good.